Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. We are being led out by one size Fitz Hall for the last game of the season, our first season in the Barclays Premier League, our third season uh, together as a club. And we're ending our season here at the Emirates Stadium playing Arsenal, a club with a great history. Um, people have often compared the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers to Arsenal. Hayden Pennyfeather will be our referee. And uh, we're starting um, Paul John Green, another John Green, even though they're tired because it's the last game of the season. And uh, I wanted them to see the Emirates, to be able to know that they've brought their team here um, all the way from League One playing in a series of, on a series of terrible pitches to this, uh, to this beautiful stadium here uh, in London. It's gorgeous. We've got Ricardo Bunsen Berna in goal, John Green and John Green up front, Leroy Williamson, who scores occasionally in central midfield, and uh, as well as Fahey. And then anchoring the back is one size fits all, who lost a skill point because my assistant coach said that he is not doing well. I don't know how he could have done better. I mean, the guy is relentless. I will never stop starting him. Um, just as I won't stop starting Leroy Williamson. You can tell me all you want how bad he is. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Aha, oh, ha you missed. Oh, Van Percy. That hasn't happened at all this season. That guy has been ridiculous. Um, but, um, so today I want to talk about the future of these Swinton Town Swoodley Poopers. Do you want me to play another season? Um, and if so, uh, what should it look like? Oh, ball John Green couldn't quite get his head to it. Um, should I go down a skill level? Should I not? Um, should I? I mean, look, if we stick at this skill level, even if we get some new players, we're probably going, we might get a little bit better, but we're probably going to continue. I don't think we're going to be looking at a Champions League place. Um, do you want me to play a different game entirely? That's, that's a foul. Um, it might even be a card. No, it's not. Do you want me to play a different game entirely? Do you want me to? Yeah. What do you? What do you? What do you want next? Not great. Not a great cross. What do you want the next season of the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers to look like? Uh, Stan and I have had a lot of conversations about this. Um, you know, we 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 would like to bring in eventually, maybe not next season, but maybe the season after, an interactive element where I play nerd fighters, um, and in 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 games. Um, we'd also like to, you know, maybe, I don't know, should I take the Dutch, should I try to take the Dutch national team to, to the World Cup? I, I don't, you know, or, or do you love watching the Swoodly Poopers and you want to keep watching them and you just want me to get better? Do you want me to go down a skill level so it's more likely that I'll win the, the Barclays Premier League? Um, oh, there are a lot of possibilities here. Um, pass it, thank you. And then to your husband, please. Not your best work. Um, can someone tell me why that happens? All I'm doing is hitting X and pointing what, toward what I think is the thing. The thing being the guy I'm trying to, to hit. One size fits all. Don't tell me he's a 67. If he's such a 67, how come nobody ever scores on him? Um, also, he, he is also our second leading scorer, despite being a center, central uh, defender. So tell me exactly why he's a 67. Um... Anyway, uh, we're trying to figure it out because we want, obviously, we want to, to, keep, it, uh, to keep it fresh, but we also, um, we also, I, I love, I love the Swoodly Poopers. They are my team, and I've become very attached to the players, even though I understand that they're technically pixels, but I, I like them. They're my favorite pixels. Could we learn to love a different team? Sure. And when FIFA 13 comes out, I'm sure that we will learn to love a different team. But for now... Um, I'm wondering what, what we should do. Uh, I'd like to play another season, see, uh, see how we can do, but I don't know if we, I don't know about the skill level. I don't know, I don't know how to solve that problem because I'm never going to be, I don't think I'm going to get good enough to really win consistently. And I don't know how much you guys want me, want to watch, um, uh, nil nil draws. <laughs> maybe you do. Maybe, maybe there's nothing more exciting to you than a nil nil draw and you're just an old school football fan. But, um, let me know in comments and uh, I, will, I will read them closely and also uh, you know thumbs up the comments that you agree with don't thumbs down the comments you disagree with because that's dumb just thumbs up the ones you agree with and um, and we'll sort of figure out where to go from there the other thing to talk about is what you want me to talk about in future episodes of, um, of Hank Games Without Hank regardless of, of format um, whether, I'm, whether I'm playing with the Swoodly Poopers or with a different team whether I'm you know um, yeah is, is, do you want me to talk about 
mm, like answering questions like I have been answering the top or t going with the top voted discussion topic or do you want me to I'm kind of out of stories from my life I'm afraid um, do you want me to tell elaborate create an elaborate fiction around the swoodly poopers and do even more that's a foul that's a foul and it's a card because it was naughty no I thought that was pretty no from my perspective that was very naughty yeah that was that was probably never going to be a goal there um, good effort though solid effort um, nil nil <laughs> at halftime in a stunning turn of events. And Swiddly Poopers, content with their nil-nil draw, head into the locker room. Um, we had a nice moment there where Ball John Green got punched in the face by the Arsenal keeper. Um, this game was created so long ago, I don't even know who that is. I don't know. But anyway, we're, we'll, we, we've got a chance here, here at the Emirates. I will say, I should say that we have secured promotion. Our, uh, our one point against... Manchester United uh, ensured that we will finish 16th in the Barclays Premier League this season, um, which means that there are five teams below us and only the bottom three teams get uh, demoted to the championship. So, what, are you going to call, you're going to call offsides on a, on a ball that never touched the guy who was offsides? Fascinating. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, uh, and also, are there any players you've had enough of and you want to see me get rid of um or oh boy and are there any players you'd like to see me try to pick up bear in mind that i only have six million dollars uh to spend in the transfer market i might have a little more maybe 10 oh i did the thing that that guy said he would never watch me again if i did i apologize i forgot um but i'm not gonna have a lot of money in the transfer market this year because we play on the county ground which just does not have a very big stadium Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he almost got there. And he's frustrating, does an unnecessary slide tackle. We're still the same Swoodly Poopers we always were. Oh. Come on. Come on, boys. Mm. It's frustrating. But you know what? There is, the truth is there's no, appropriate, there's no more appropriate score than a nil-nil draw. Um, I don't know if you've heard the song, the Swoodoo Pooper semi-official theme song from this year. It goes, nil, nil, draw, we're going to have another nil, nil, draw. Um, it's a great song, written by a supporter. Uh, we'll put a link in the doobly-doo. Oh, one size fits all. Was that, was that the work of a 67 skill level? I say no. I say that it was not. Leroy Williamson, he's on the ball. He's on the ball. He's doing Leroy Williamson stuff. I never, I never pass with Leroy Williamson because I like him too much. Um, you know, let me know. You want me to trade Leroy Williamson? I'll, I mean, it's your team. This team belongs to its supporters. That was just fantastic stuff, but with no finish. Um, wow. That guy hasn't played for Arsenal in like three years. What? I don't want to do a replay. I don't... I, I, want, to, I want to go into the past where I was just playing the game. Right, here we go. I'm going to make a couple substitutions because my team is tired and I don't want anyone to get injured before the end of the season. I want to be able to bring all these guys back. So I'm going to take off the John Greens. I'm going to bring in Voluptuous Paracard, who has not featured heavily this season. Um, I'm also going to bring in Merrick Merrick, Silent but Deadly Merrick Merrick, taking out Fahey. And um, Bowden Bowden will be leaving the team. Uh, his contract is up. I offered him a new contract for $1,000 a week, and he said no. And then I was like, well, your skill level is 38, so go play, you know, semi-professionally. Sorry, but that's the reality. All right, we're going to bring in Ramsden as well um, for S Cargo. Okay. <laughs> Did you know his nickname? Oh, you made it up? Oh, I thought I made it up. I'm always giving myself credit for things that other people did. So I did the thing the guy said he was never going to watch again. Sorry, guy. All right. Um, so, yeah, what, what, you know, really we want, I want you to decide the future of the Swoodly Poopers and, um, and how, you want it, how you want it to look next season. Um, but I do. I mean, I really, you know, I really enjoy doing this, um, weird as it sounds. Um, I like being a person who plays... Uh, video games while making up complicated narratives. It's, um, it's always been one of my passions. <laughs> it's always been something I did. It's just never been something that I was able to do for an audience of uh, 15,000 people. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with this Woodley Poopers this season. I know it's been a hard season to be a fan. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I frankly, um, it's been a hard season to be their manager. 
Um, sometimes the guys have gotten discouraged. There, there have been moments where they haven't showed the kind of heart that, um, that we saw when they were in League One um, to get up to the championship and then to get up to, um, you know, to the, to the heights of the Premier League. Um, you know, but we made it to the semifinals in the Europa League, which is an amazing accomplishment. Oh, almost. Just needed to go a little further far post on that one. Um, and, uh, and of course, we, you know, we really made our season by winning the FA Cup, which was, uh, that, you know, just a really special moment on the, on the heels of a, what was undoubtedly, unquestionably a very difficult season. Um, to win the FA Cup meant so much to, uh, to me and, and to the team, and uh, we never could have done that if it hadn't been for, for the support of uh, all of you. You're not hurt. Um, sorry, but he always fakes injuries. All right, good job. One size fits all. Again, not playing like a 67. Oh, Bender, do you, is, is he going to have to come off? Oh, I feel bad if Nasri was actually hurt. That certainly was not. It's never our intention in the Swoodly Poopers to hurt anybody, even Pixels. Oh, yes. Preserving the nil-nil draw. All right. Frustration. A lot of frustration there for the boys. But um, 88th minute, still nil-nil. Voluptuous Paracard on the ball to other John Green. Going to the corner and should have passed. Should have passed um, It would be the um, the name of the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers official history. That was a foul, wasn't it? You can take me off my feet. That's legal now to hurt me like that? I didn't know. Anyway, I'd like to congratulate the Swoodley Poopers and all their supporters on a difficult but rewarding season that ended the only appropriate way with a nil-nil draw. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want the future of Swindon Town and uh, Hank Games Without Hank to look like. And as always, best wishes.